Hi! Welcome to Letters to Lisa. I am so glad you came by. This week has been a long week for us and our family and I have gotten tons and tons of letters of support and encouragement and I thank you so much. I share on the blog um, about how I've kind of gotten through some of the hard times and I wanted to talk to about it, you about it a little here just to make it more, you know, more clear. Um, first of all, it is our faith in God and in Christ that has that gets us through when things get really hard. Um, second to none, that's the number one way we make it through difficult times. Uh, but then there are other things we do, like I take care of myself. I talk a lot about my blog about my weight loss and my dieting, and I've been really careful to stick with that so that I still feel good and I still feel healthy through all of this. And that's been very helpful. And the other thing I just want to talk to you about, and that's what uh, this is about today is my essential oils. I know a lot of people are hearing a lot about essential oils lately. I've been using them for about seven years now and um, I just love them and they have been a godsend to me through this difficult time. And so I wanted to tell you a little bit about what I've been using. The number one oil I've probably used more than anything else is peace and calming. And if you have read my blog, you know that I keep all my oils. This is the original bottle it comes in, but then I keep them in these little roller bottles. All the information is on the blog. You just click on my sidebar button about essential oils. But um, I put them in here to dilute them to make them last longer so they don't cost, it makes them more affordable. So I took my peace and calming when I was having a really hard time and I literally just, I go into more detail in this, but I just rub it on my hand. I was just rubbing it on my face and rubbing it on me and it was really helping to calm me down and clear my thoughts. And then once I got past that, uh, I went straight to Valor. Valor is my number one favorite oil. I mean, I love this oil so much, like, yeah, I want to marry it. And so I took my Valor in the roller bottle and I put it on every day. One of the things that they say about Valor is that it increases the efficacy of other oils. And so not only is it amazing by itself, but I think it helps the other oils work better too. And so I put Valor on my wrists every day like a perfume. I carry it with me. I'll smell it. It smells so good. You guys, if you love any oil, you're going to love Valor. The other oil that I have used a lot, lot, lot is Joy. And Joy, again, in the little bottle. I have all these different sizes of little bottles, mainly just because whenever I order them, they're out of stock of whatever I've had before and I don't really care. So I put this with washi tape on it. It's all on the blog. So I take Joy and I put it over my heart and I sometimes I'll put it here. The honest truth is it doesn't matter 100% how you use your oils. People get ask me a lot of questions. Where do I put it? What do I do with it? And there are a lot of ways you can use the oils, but just get them on your body. Do whatever your instinct tells you. And so I like, but I like to put the joy over my heart because my heart was hurting and I was going through hard times. I would put joy over my heart like I put joy on before I did this video because I thought, well, I want to be more joyful. I want to exude that. And it also has a very nice smell. To tell you the truth, not oil, all oils have a nice smell, but joy, valor, and peace and calming definitely do. This oil was one that a friend told me to take through, through a difficult time and it's called White Angelica. White Angelica, I hadn't used a lot before, but um, it is understood to help you have a sense of feeling protected and safe. And so it is almost like, almost like a barrier for you. And so I was putting it on uh, my shoulders and on my neck and even on the top of my head um, to help me feel safe and secure. And it was very, very helpful. And since then I've been using it a lot when I pray and I feel like it helps me just feel secure in the arms of the Lord. And the last one that I have used a lot of is called Tranquil. This is Tranquil. It only comes like this. It only comes in a roll-on. And it's kind of nice. I will keep it next to my bed. And so if I'm having trouble sleeping, not only do I use the lavender, but I will put the tranquil on to help my thoughts kind of calm down. It's been really helpful. So I wanted to tell you about those, really those five oils to maybe help you. Because what happens, what happened to me, is you get into an anxiety or panic or, or a crisis situation and you can't think and you can't think about what to do. So uh, I have every one of these on the blog written down for you. You don't have to go back and write it down. It's all there with descriptions of, of how to use them and how I use them. 
I hope that helps you and I hope you'll leave a comment if you're going through a hard time. Leave a comment here or on the blog and we will pray for you. We care about you and God loves you too.